Hello, I'm Liviu Balan, and today I will show you how to manage authenticated user configuration on VS FTPD in Ubuntu Server. So let's get started. You will see that during this tutorial, I will use my livibalancom background ubuntu github repository project. If you want to learn more about this project, you can check out my YouTube channel and also visit my website livibalan.com. Here on the useful links section, I've provided the github.com uh, repository project URL. So in order to show you how to manage authenticated user configuration on Ubuntu server, I will connect to a virtual machine of mine, which is up and running using Vagrant SSH. Hit the enter key <coughs> and on uh, this virtual machine, I already have VS FTPD uh, package installed, which is up and running. If you want to learn more about this process, you can check out my tutorial on YouTube and also visit my website, livubalan.com. Okay, because I already have uh, the VS FTPD uh, package installed on my virtual machine, all I have to do is to open FileZilla and create a new site. Uh, the site name will be http.livibolan.com ftp login. So let's copy uh, this name and on FileZilla, I will choose File Site Manager. Here, I will click on the new site button and here I will paste the previous name uh, copied. Hit the enter key and let's uh, fill uh, the content here on the general tab. For the host value, I will use uh, http.livibolan.com. And again, if you don't know how my Vagrant project works, I invite you to check out my GitHub repository project to understand more where this value comes from. But for now, I will use the host http.livibolan.com and for the protocol, I will use FTP, meaning uh, file transfer protocol. For encryption, I will use uh, plain FTP. But for the logon uh, type, I will choose, uh, I will change the value from anonymous to normal. Let's uh, resize this window here. Uh, okay, and. As you can see, by default, I will have to specify a name, uh, a value for the user and password. In FileZilla, uh, the value uh, comes out of field with the anonymous user. But instead, I will have to provide a user, <coughs> which in this case will have to be uh, an operating system uh, user from the machine, from, from the virtual machine where I'm connecting to. So this will be the same user that you can use, for example, to connect through SSH to your virtual machine. Okay, uh, as I previously told you, I am using the livibolancom ubuntu ubuntu github repository project and the short and convenient way to get an operating system user is to open var.sh located in provision shell slash resources directory. So let's open uh, the livubalancom vagrant ubuntu uh, project. And as you can see here, I'm having var.sh uh, file opened. So from here, from here, I will have to choose the value for live uh, usr admin user, which is Liviu, and I will copy and paste the value to the uh, user section. And also, I will have to copy and paste the PWD uh, value for the same key, leave USR admin password. Copy and paste it to the password field. Now, let's uh, connect Let's uh, click the OK button. And now if I open again uh, the site manager by clicking this icon here and uh, uh, 
double click or click uh, the site name here and click the connect button, you will see that I am connected uh, to my uh, virtual machine through uh, FTP protocol uh, and I'm on the home directory for the user Livio. Okay, now let's change the remote site from the home directory of user Livio to var uh, www.http.livio.com which is a uh, virtual host directory of mine. Uh, hit the enter key and as you will see I am redirected to another uh, directory meaning vagrant share apache http.livualan.com This is because if you use uh, ls minus l to see what is inside of uh, var www you will see that here uh, I'm having a list of uh, directories but on the uh, var directory I'm having the www directory which is a symbolic link uh, to vagrant share apache so this is the explanation uh, why the redirect were made okay now as you can see here I'm having some files and uh, if I click on a file, for example, file-1.txt and right click on it uh, and choose the download option, I am able to download the file-1.txt to my local operating system. But now if I choose info.txt, for example, and right click on it and upload, you will see that I'm getting here an error 550 permission denied. Uh, in order to repair uh, this uh, problem, this error, all I have to do is to open my terminal and here I will have to edit the VS FTPD configuration file which is located in ATC uh, vsftpd.conf. So I will use sudo vi to edit this file and hit the enter key. Here I will have to search for uh, I will ha have to search for write underscore enable option and I will have to remove the comment here and the value of write enable will have to be yes as you can see here on the comments and comment this uh, this to enable any form of FTP write command so uh, right and quit and in order to apply the changes I will have to restart the vsftpd service by using sudo service uh, vsftpd restart hit the enter key uh, and now uh, if I reconnect to my filezilla by clicking the site manager icon and then double click on http.libuvalan.com ftp login here, I have the option to open another the connection in another tab or abort the previous connection and connect into the current tab. I will let the default as is and hit the OK button. Now, let's uh, refresh the content here and try to upload info.txt. You will see here that the file were successfully uploaded, <coughs> but you will have uh, you will see that sometimes uh, FileZilla is having some problems with uh, caching. So in order to avoid uh, the problem, for example, uh, caching the 550 permission denied, you will have to repair this problem by going to the edit uh, menu and click on the clear private data and then click the OK button. If this um, option doesn't work for you, all you have to do is to uh, close the FireZilla application and open it again. This is a quick clear private data which most of the time will work. Okay, 
so this is how um, uh, this is how you uh, manage authenticated user configuration on VS FTPD in Ubuntu server. If you want to learn more about um, if you want to learn more about FTP, about Ubuntu, about web technologies, you can uh, check out my tutorials on YouTube and also visit my website livebalan.com. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.